beginning around 200,000 years before the Common Era. Homo sapiens moved out of Africa and colonized an entire world. That colonization was limited to Africa, Europe, and Asia till about 25,000 years before the present. The humans that moved out of Africa into Europe and into Asia all had similar technologies, a Stone Age technology, and at the very end of the period, a domestication of dogs. Until about 25,000 years ago, humans on the three original continents then shared a common experience. They were hunters, they were gatherers, they learned how to chip stone, attach those stones to wood, and provide themselves with their daily bread. About 25,000 years ago, there was a break. Some humans were able to make it across the Bering Strait, moving from Siberia into the Americas. That was made possible by the melting of the last glacial maximation. That melting exposed land and it exposed corridors, allowing humans and animals to move into the Americas from Asia. Once that melting was complete, sea levels rose and cut off the Americas. Humans had limited transportation technology at the time. This left the Americas isolated. There is the possibility that some humans made it across from the Pacific into the Americas, but these were relatively small and not consistent patterns of behavior. In the big picture of things, people in Africa and Europe and Asia mingled with each other, even if it was on an infrequent basis, but that mingling, that sharing of ideas, that sharing of gene pool didn't happen with the Americas. They were two separate worlds. On one side of the Atlantic and the Pacific were the Americas with about 100 million people. On the other side of the Atlantic and the Pacific were people sharing three continents and there you had about 350 million people. So that human technology limited human behavior. It limited humans' ability to overcome the obstacles of the oceans. And so the Americas were left isolated and developed on their own. They didn't develop metallurgy. They didn't develop the wheel. These communities, though, developed independently their own domestication of plants, their own domestication of animals. They were just as smart as the people on the other side of those oceans. They simply had different challenges. Their success meant that they spread from one tip of the, of the continents, Alaska, down to the southern tip of the continents, Argentina. They inhabited the entire continents of North America and South America. But it doesn't mean they're one people. They were incredibly diverse. They separated themselves, just like other humans separated themselves, into ethnic groups, into tribes, into nations, into empires. All of the features that we've seen on the other side of the Atlantic and the other side of the Pacific existed in the Americas. Each human population simply put their own twist onto the human story.